Imagine dynamic geometry built on a foundation of computer algebra. So side lengths, angles, etc. can be defined algebraically as well as numerically and results can be derived in general form. Then add constraint based construction to make it even easier to use. Do you want a right angled triangle? No problem. Just define a general three-sided figure and add the right angle later. Derive Pythagoras' theorem? Easy. I'd like to introduce you to a remarkable piece of mathematics software. GX Web is a free browser-based symbolic geometry tool that combines constraint-based dynamic geometry with computer algebra. From Saltire Software, who offer the amazing geometry expressions and mathematical illustrations, this surprisingly powerful tool for classroom learning offers students multiple pathways to learning and understanding algebra through visual and dynamic geomet geometric representations. Let's explore this useful piece of software. first thing you'll notice is its simplicity. Instead of multiple floating palettes and menus, we have a small number of choices. A construction palette, points, lines, circles, oh sorry, segments, circles, lines and so on. A constraint menu, we'll see what that means in just a minute. and a, uh, a general menu for a variety of constructions. Let's begin with a simple example, Pythagoras' theorem. As we mentioned, begin with a general triangle, automatically labelled ABC. Click two of the sides and choose right angle. We now have a right angle triangle, making it much simpler for construction of all sorts of shapes. Now let's give names to the sides. In most dynamic geometry packages these would be numeric values and you can use numeric values here but it's much nicer to use symbolic values. Let's call these sides A and B. Now as soon as you create those, they have numeric values. So for instance we could set A to be 4, B to be 3, and those values can be locked or unlocked no problem. We can also set the range of possible values. So for instance B might range from 0 to 10 and we can then animate. Great for students to explore the figures that they're building. Now let's find the distance between A and C straight away. And of course if we set B to be 3 we get the expected result. But more as well, so much more. For instance, area A, B and C is given, easily calculated. But now the fun really begins. Let's have a look at a whole different set of choices. Distance from A to C. There's your Pythagoras' theorem. 
area A, B, C, A, B over 2. For students exploring and discovering their mathematics, this is a most wonderful tool. Let's look at another example. To clear the screen, we click the top left corner where we can also choose between uh, radiant or degree mode. Easily add a pair of axes and if you wish increase the or decrease the size of the font. Let's have another look at a another triangle question. So this time we'll have triangle once again let's set sides to be A, B and C. Now what if we put a circle inside that triangle? I'd like that to be the circumcircle and there's multiple ways that this can be easily created. But the simplest if I select the circle and one of the sides this menu automatically comes to the top. Tangent. Circle. Another side. Tangent. Tangent. Area. A. B. C. Is that interesting result? Now that may or may not be familiar to you, but what a wonderful source for exploration. And it just gets better. Area, triangle C, that one. One more step. Let's blow it up and Add another trying another circle this time now if I select a point and the circle I can tell it to make those intersect So we began with the in circle, we're now looking at the circumcircle. Area of this. Some very interesting results. Now depending what level your students are at, this is a tool that can be used certainly from middle school right through to senior years. It makes construction of all sorts of figures very, very simple. But let's have a look at another lovely feature of this package. Suppose I want to add a function graph. So I simply sketch out a rough uh, picture of the graph and it does its best job to try and guess what function you're after. You can use that one and you'll have values for all of your, your variables for students to explore. Or you can put your own let's say k times x minus a x minus b x minus c now once again as soon as we uh, create a variable it's present in the menu and we can uh, we can play with values for that so for instance we could set k to be 1 
and we'll need to uh, bring that down a bit to be able to see the whole thing. Let's go back to something smaller, 0.1. Now, if we take a point on this curve, and it automatically sets it with a parameter that you can name. Now it's chosen T, but what if we made it A plus B over 2? So wherever your A and B values are, right, let's set A to be minus 10. B can be minus 2, to make life a little easier for ourselves, and C can be 5. Now a lovely property of cubics involves tangent. If you take the tangent at the midpoint, between two of three roots of a cubic, where does it cross? Well, it looks like let's create that point there and get the coordinates of B. B lies exactly at in line with point C, the third root of the cubic. I hope you uh, you get a sense of how powerful this tool is. But let's just go one step further. Suppose I create a figure. Suppose I'm going to create a model. Um, let's take a nice now I want this to be a rectangle Those two moves guarantee that it's a rectangle. Your students might be interested in exploring why. What if I want it to be a square? Say a unit square. I'm going to set that side to be 1. I'm going to set that side to be 1. And now those sides are also one. Uh, let's take a point on one side and let's call it X. Take a point on the other side call that X, do the same up here, oops, let's go back, right, now if we're interested in the area of that shape, no problem. Let's go A, F, H, C, G, B. Is that what you expected? This is part of a lovely problem 
uh, that's been around for a long time uh, called meeting a friend um, we'll explore that just a minute in a minute but first I want to show you another remarkable and absolutely beautiful property of this software so you've created this it's browser based it exists in any browser problem with that is you can't save that figure well that's not quite true you can save it as a JavaScript app or at least a simplified version now you can control all the parameters of so you might notice for instance that at the moment it runs from 0.1 to about 0.5 let's fix that up let's go back I'd like this to go from 0 to 1 so save the app nicer you've also got the option to add color Uh, and a whole lot of other variables but this ability to save your constructions uh, as an applet that can be easily uploaded and then distributed to students um, is an extremely powerful feature it has led to in my case I've been having a wonderful time building what I call the GX web showcase um, currently that consists of around 25 different activities all built using GX web and then most with other web-based tools added in to make them more interesting you might recognize the first one meeting a friend um, these have all been designed along with instructions as to how you can easily create them yourself so um, the first 10 of these are problems that I've collected over a long time and um, turned into uh, assessment tasks uh, you would be most welcome to visit and explore um, and play with these the next few are uh, a couple of collections that we will be talking about further one that I call the kissing circles collection where we uh, look at a variety of uh, mathematical applications for tangential cir uh, circles and the other one the fractured fractions collection where we look at applications and patterns and beauty in continued fractions even further there are stem applications uh, that are possible all of these things are, are contained in the GX web showcase and along with instructions for how you might like to try and build your own activities thank you for listening have fun